sex workers. How are they being affected by the lockdown and COVID-19? Welcome to the Beacon Live. And we have one of them right here in live and living colors. <laughs> and she'll be telling us a bit about her experience in the streets. Yeah, but, but I don't understand you, you know. You yes, well, when we me. go there, I'm waiting for some more people to come online. Oh, right? oh what? Yes. You serious? Yes, I'm <laughs> serious. <laughs> oh, God. You serious? Yes. You're a terrible man, you know. You didn't tell me that. Of course I did. I didn't know that somebody's going to come online right now. When no, they're this. not going to come live to speak, but, but they, they're, they're, they're joining. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So they won't okay. be speaking. You're the one who will be speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yes. Okay. Let's go straight into it. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, my name is Tisha. I'm from Port Antonio. Um, originated from Hope Bay, Portland. Um, I leave all my home, my home from Portland, and come here to look money because I don't have a job. I don't have no one taking care of me, and I have to do various things on the street to get my money. Sometimes people, when they see me with my money, they think I robbed it or steal somebody or broke somebody or killed somebody. And I don't do that. I have to work hard. Sometimes, even right now, me and a man just catch up down there. It's like, he don't want to pay me my money. And he's going to talk about curfew. And he don't realize that I'm the one in curfew too because I have to run from the police because the police just stopped me down there and say to me, said, if he catch me one more night on the street, I have to pay 50000 or I'm going to go to prison. And I don't want to go to prison, but at the same time, I don't have no one to help me. And when we go on the street and we sell ourselves, it's like you have men who come with their, their holders. The hold is not right. The money not feel good on your skin. And you have men who lined up like sitting in the car down there and litter us on the street. And when we go home, the, the smell where you left in the house, where you go in with the money, is like you have to wait the money, same time or sanitize the money or something as you're tormented in your house you can't even stand the smell you have to carry the money go give somebody to keep or hide in a bush or on the stone and i'm just tired of it i'm really tired of it, of it and i really would love that these people to stop litter us on the street especially me because i work the street you know i work we do everything the only thing i don't do is have sex in my ass but i do those stuff and People see me with my money and they see the clothes and I'm not aware and yeah, I have it hard. So I really don't know what to say. You understand? I wish they stop little us on the street. Little? Yes. What throw do you things mean? on us. Throw oh, they throw things on you? Yes, throw things on us. So you see me have the money in the bag? Let me show you. We have to tap the money because when you get the smell, it's some the money the money smell of all different type of odor. So we have to tie the money in the bag as I can't even put the bag on my skin because I don't like the smell of the bag with the money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's hard. And I don't touch money neither. That's my problem. So I keep cursing the people and when they pass and I say, man, sanitize yourself when you touch. When you when you touch the money because they do like this mm -hmm. with the finger and the glaze. You, you have a smoker like you, a ganja smoker. It irritates them. Yes, I see you with a bag there and you allow persons who purchase uh, <laughs> pleasure from you to put the money in, into the bag yeah right but you are still making physical contact with those people yes because I, I, I have i have to to look the money because i have i need things we need to give my little daughter money as well so because she's going to school we have to take care of me and my bills so we have to do it i mean we not gonna stick up nobody with no machine gun for no money you understand and me can't get no work Number one, my education is not that good. So I don't know what to do. And I never worked from the day my born. I live in Germany for 14 years. I speak German, Italian, and French. And tell you the truth, I can't read. So that is my problem right now. So I don't know what to do. And sometimes I wish if God could have just sent somebody for me, find me a job where we can do. Yeah. What I type of job? Of what, what type of job can but you do? Right now, even if you scrub all the toilet right now, I would do it. Because my work on the street is not something that I love. When I go in and I scrub my skin, my ball, I even scan myself to cook. You take care of me, because you don't know. Wow. 
Yeah, it's not a good job me do it here, but me can do better. Me not go thief nobody. See right now the police want to lock me up. Even time I say if you catch me one more time on the street, I'm sure they're going to jail. Yeah, I'm going to find 50,000. I'm not looking at him because I'm not going to rob nobody. So I'm going to go there and look my money. Yes. I was talking to myself because he said I'm going to come off of the street. So I was like, like, me the over here and you sitting like, no, lie. You were like over there, so I say, you know, I say, I'm not going to turn a thief. You know, a policeman drive back, he, he reverse the car and said to me, say, Hey, you say you're not going to turn a thief? I can't feel you come off of the road, but I circle the road and see you back on the I lock up you to wear that one cloud. And I say, sorry, stop cuss now. Go on now. Me no say me I go in. I'm leave from which part there also. Yeah, you said you have been unable to find a job. Have you searched formally, sent out resumes and... Uh... No, I don't send out resume, but me, me work, me work. Go places and ask for work. I do. But I can't get it because my lack of education. I don't have any education. But a lot I of people read. don't have education. And I they, and cannot they... read. And if you are working in one shop or one store, you have to can read. Yes. You have to can check the money. You have but you can... don't have to work for people. What about you operating a small shop for yourself? Would you be money, willing to do that? If I have the money, sure hell, yeah. Mm -hmm. I write down the price in one book and know I can't figure out and say yes, this is for that and that is for that. I mean, make sure you put a password on it so I definitely say yes. That's what it costs. I would love that, but I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Everything will get expensive now. Um, yesterday when I come down here, I used to pay $500 for coming down here at, at um, Poor Ochi from, from the bus, from the bus stop of Poland to, to down here. And a five hundred dollar I come down here because that I have. But I'm a barrier to free down here. And when when me come off the no, the man say, bus, bus fee, please. I'm a reach a white over. I'm making the five hundred dollar. I say, Mama, what is? So I said, I'm a fear. He said, No, 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 no. Six hundred dollars for go home. Figure out watching me say, What? Bus fee is. Yes. A lot of people are emphasizing that you said you can't read and so you can't get a job. But let me just tell them that there are lots of people in the streets who are unable to read and they are employed. So being unable to read or being illiterate doesn't prevent you from getting a job. This is a particular experience that you are having in terms of you not getting a job. But uh, what I'm saying is that probably if people are willing, they'll assist you and uh, perhaps set up a small business. And you're saying you would be willing to really operate course, a business for yourself. Of course, I don't love the street. Mm -hmm. I don't love it. I don't even love what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't scan myself as I said to you, you wouldn't believe me. When I go see me spend, me spend like the whole day in the sea water washing myself. Because today I come down here and I went over, over um, uh, what's the name? The Monteville? No, not the Monteville. Monteville, yeah, Portland. Um, Silver Seas. And I spent the whole day on the beach. The whole day, I'm gonna stop wash myself. All the fans here, yeah. all the fans here in the sea are swimming with me too. So, one of the guys who drive the boat said to me, say, um, girl, girl, why don't you want to be here? I said, because it's unclean, it was sanitized. They laugh at me. When we go to shop with the money, I'm <laughs> forgive them the money. You know? If people don't laugh at me because the money went, <laughs> not touch it. <laughs> we wash the money. We're not a joke. When I come down on the bus, I the same thing in the man said to me, saying, tell that me with it. Because I don't stop with the money. But I'm afraid I eat. It not smell good. So what do I do? Mm -hmm. Last time I threw one bucket of water, one bucket of water with bleach. And really? the whole of the money then bleach out. I nearly fell. But I see, what is it? You think I do it? So your colleagues, where are they? You're the only one in the street now? No, because I come out late. So they, they came out early? Yes, that's what my girlfriend said to me. She said, Trisha, where you going now? Police are going to lock you up, you know? I come out late. come out late. I come from Great Pan. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it's hard to get taxi because a lot of people live at Great Pan now. So it's hard to get taxi. But then you look at But then you need taxi to go to the road and come down in full. Mm -hmm. So it's hard. So I have to walk a little distance until I get a drive. Yes. Yeah. So, my life is very hard out here. Do you find that you'll make more money at night than daytime? I don't work a day because I'm too ashamed about it. To carry myself like who you see me right now. Let me show you how I carry myself in the street to make a dollar. Let me show you. Look at me. 
I wouldn't dress like this in the day. I wouldn't. I'm a lady in the day. <laughs> in the night, I'm a Jezebel. As you see how I look. You're a Jezebel? Then look at me. Yeah, but why, why are you using those words to describe yourself? Because look how me look. Me naked. Just for make a dollar on the street and me want the money. See there? Right now, we have to find 23,000. Me come and fight. You fight? Yeah. I'm ever find 23,000 right now to choose then I don't know if I'm going to find that money. Fight for what? Because man beat me up in time of face red and I tell him my face red and he slap me and we fight. While you're on the job? Yeah. Do you find that a lot of men abuse sex workers? Yes, yeah, some of them. Because when they want to have sex with you, they want, they want a while ago the wig jump. <laughs> the wig jump over my head. The boy grab my head. I say, what the hell is this? <laughs> The wig come up on me and say, look here. I touch you, come for touch me and kill you, come for kill me. Which one of them? Hey, anyone pop up, I show them, I say, look here, stop. Stop, stop, stop. See what make your money? Mama, oh yeah, go on. So, mama, I summon the things. I say, look here. You're an animal. I'm not a cow. You must know if you make love or have sex with, with a woman. You can't do that. If you want me, if you care, my woman, if you do me like that. Care, my woman, pay me 15 grand then. 15 you care, grand? 15 yeah, grand for, for the what, night. For the night? Yeah, I have sex with you for three times to the night. For 15 grand? For 15 grand, and if you won't wake up, I have to the same way. Can you pay your money? Yeah. So what are the other prices for the other? Like what? Pleasures. It's just 15 grand for the night, if you want to take me home if, for if the night. If not for the night, like for a one. <laughs> oh, all right, like a quickie. Yeah. <laughs> you really want the girls to kill me on the street now, don't you? Just give me I an cannot, idea. I cannot what? tell you that. <laughs> you got all different prices. Some mm -hmm. people go for a thousand, some go for 15, some go for 2,000, some go for 3,000. You have all different prices. Yes. Yeah, depends too. But you would go to a stranger's home. That's a lot of risk. But yes, is it sometimes worth it? risk in life, you know. When I'm leaving Jamaica, um, when I was 18 years old, I didn't know where I'm going. I take the plane and I take the plane all alone. My husband, he said all the papers works, the money down here. And I fly all the way from Jamaica to Amsterdam. I didn't know where I'm go going. So, so what did you do overseas? You hmm? went to Germany. What did you do over I there? Was, I'm a housewife, you know. I stupid me, stupid me, come back to Jamaica. I just couldn't satisfy with what my husband gave to me. He wasn't that rich. Or he'd been never so wealthy. He'd have to do two jobs to take care of me, my kid, and plus my mother. Mm -hmm. I'm a big brother. So we couldn't sit down and watch a white man I walk, so I walk. I can't get in night rest. No, we left him come home. Mm -hmm. Every time I have a son up on him own bottom. Mm -hmm. My brother, a big man, so he's supposed to take care of himself. He can't just sit down and Expects if it depends on his smaller sister, so I stop it. My mother died. We take care of my mother. My mother died and we bury her from that. I don't go back to Germany. We send back my kid to Germany and now she is 24 years old. And right now my kid don't even know where he is. She hears so many stories about me. I don't even know where my, kids is. my kid is. She what? left me from she had three years old. And now she had 24 or 25. No. Yesterday was the first one. She's 25 years old now. Wow. And I have no contacts with her, and this is good. I wish, I wish, if she see the, the, this profile right now, maybe what? she can see her mama. What's her name? Shandana no, Hamarmi. And she's in Germany? Yeah. Tell uh, us a bit about the trip from Jamaica to Germany initially. How did you reach there? Oh, I met my husband in Port Antonio. He fell in love with me. He going to my mama and asked me for marriage. Yeah, and we married around three months. I spend with him and get me pregnant, I lose it. We go back to Germany, we go to Germany. Me send me, he send me my ticket, everything, and say, you know, want him pretty dead again. He want the next one, he don't want it dead. So I go in Germany. Three months after, I get me pregnant again. So I live in Germany nearly 14 years. We speak German, Italian, and French. Whoa. Yeah, and, and I can't read. And, and you I, can't read? No, my daughter teach me. And cartoons. So my husband come in, he said, Pass me the knife, he said, Pass me the messer. He said, Pass me the buckle, he said, Pass me the fender. Mm -hmm. So everything he, 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 he talk in German, he tell me back in English. Mm -hmm. Yes, and there are some people calling us now. You can send us a message via WhatsApp. We won't be able to take your calls right now. So, how difficult was it, or easy was it, a decision to return to Jamaica? It was easy because 
I could have paid my fare, come back. My husband was working. And I didn't want to stay there no more because I'm tired of Germany, I'm tired of the white people. Um, I can't bother. Tired of the white people? Um. Yeah, I see too much white people in the feast. Eh? And normally when you go out, like if you go disco or so, and white, some white woman don't like you or they don't want you near there, they say, um, Africa and again straight back to Africa. You say, say Africa, um, you African woman, go back to Africa. In call you Skifo, Skifo in Germany, it's his monkey. Go oh. back to Africa. Yes, I've been locked up for this because I keep going, no, one German ass, one girl beat her rat and they put me in straps. Mm -hmm. Until I said, I'm in Africa, I'm a Jamaican. I'm a, uh, what I say now? I'm Jamaican woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she don't disrespect my culture or disrespect my people like that. And yeah, they'll give me house arrest because I went to jail and my husband go over there and make problems so they let me out. Mm -hmm. Six months. Yeah, but it was fun. Me and Jai over there because I know a lot of places. I've been to Germany, um, Cologne, Hamburg, Dusseldorf, Switzerland, England. I've been to a lot of places. I know over, I've been to a lot of places. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know different cultured people like like um, Turkish, Yugoslavia. We know a lot of different culture people. And mm -hmm. it's good. Yeah, because if they come to Jamaica right now, I can't tell you the, 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 the colors they have, I can't tell you which country they're from. How long ago did you return to Jamaica? Mm -hmm. Ten years ago. Ten years ago? Yeah. Ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... And when did you start uh, Come as a sex street? worker? As a sex worker? Mm -hmm. so, from the day I meet my husband, and my husband take me off the street. So you Martini. were a sex worker before you left to Jamaica? Yeah, my girlfriend came me. I wasn't doing like, oh, I'm on the street now, no. Like me meeting me in one club. And we go back again and me meet him in our restaurant. And yeah, we, we make dates, call each other, and then we just have sex. All right then. How long after you returned to Jamaica from Germany did you go back into being a sex worker? Let me get poor. I start selling my jewelry. I start sell out everything. Sometimes I even start smoke cocaine. Oh. Yeah. A I've year after a you returned? Two years after you returned? Around two years after. Around two years? Yes, because I'm getting broke. So I lose my friends there at Port Antonio. Most of my girlfriend in in Germany. People disrespect me. Like, they don't no respect for me no more. So I just give up on people. So I start smoke cocaine. Yes. Bring on myself. Are what? you still on cocaine? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I just can't stand the people because it's like they don't care about you. You understand? It's like they look for you a different way. And as me, who knows life and been in Germany and the people in my Portland, they know me so much. It's like they disrespect you sometimes. I just can't bother. I just keep them a distance and just... Would you like some professional help to, to stay away from drugs? Drugs? Yeah, drugs would you is not like my problem. Mm -hmm. I can stay away from that because I do stay away from that. Mm -hmm. All I need is somebody just, somebody can help me. Yes. Get me off of the street. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. So if they can find me, find more work for do. When I can earn my own income, when I can pay my bills. Right now I live in one house at Tree Hill. It's a housing trust school house. Mm -hmm. And... I have hard life living in that house. When I say hard life, I wash my clothes and put them on the line. My neighbor next to me, they burn all sort of things in the house. They smell all different type of odor. Even now, this man just passed right there, and I can feel a whole heap of nasty dust on my body. Soon it starts smell. And I don't like that. Yeah. So sometimes I have to run him and light those and tell him, say, you know, clean. You're going. I'm not giving you money. I don't want. Yes, because they're not clean. So right now, it's good when they have the mask. It is damn good. All right. So tell me something. Your first experience as a sex worker. How old were you at the time? Well, around 17, 18. Around 17, 18? Yeah. I'm afraid. I couldn't sleep in the bed of the white man. Yes. And when they have um, a bus named Case and Bus, that was a long time ago, I'm tell you about <laughs> Case and bus, they drive to go to Kingston in the morning time in Portland. They catch that bus early in the morning and left a white man. <laughs> they wake up, people see me. 
He called me girlfriend and he asked me girlfriend, where is sweetie because I can't see you. You can't call me so. I say I'm afraid of the man, the man a vampire. I don't want him to turn out for me. But gradually, gradually, me get, me get used to it. Yeah, so I meet my husband, I get pregnant and... No. I went in Germany. I live in Germany and I love the life. There are people calling us, please do not call us at this time. You can't call us at this time. But please don't call us at this time. We are doing a live interview and you are... Okay. <laughs> no one has questions. Yes, they want to. <laughs> God. You know, they talk, they, they talk a lot about child abuse and, you know, human trafficking. Have you experienced that? Uh, young, young girls in the streets oh, who no. have been we abused. young girls in the street, yes. Underage girls? That's, that was a good while ago still, before the country. Mm -hmm. I have to wonder and say, shit, them too young for be on the street, but you can't tell them that. This is the one person who keeps calling, please stop. Yeah. Let me see them again. Cause the the curfew, the curfew bring a lot of police on the street. The street, you see, even a soldier they walk down, come down, which part of his. Yeah, but the good thing about where I live in Jamaica, they have a a, a vehicle will come sometime every once a month, come down which part we work, and they give you condoms, they give you lubricant gel, they test even the blood. And that's great. I never expect that would happen in Jamaica, and that's good. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Yeah. So they protect us on the street. If the pin is too big, they give you big size condom. If you too small, they give you small size condom, and they give you the gel. So should in case the pin is the condom gone bust, you use the gel. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, that's that's it. And yeah. then, you know, sometimes. Sometimes people tease you on the street too, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's not fun. But you just have to work with it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, thought, you showed us a while ago your, your dress. The way you dress to come into the street. So yeah, important is that? Right now, I need to pay my bills. Mm -hmm. So the, the whole way I have to get the money right now is to look like this. When the boys, they see you like this, they want to join their clothes. <laughs> oh. So when you are simply dressed, I mean... <laughs> like this, yeah, yes. you surely want a water piece, don't it? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I have to bring myself and I'm not going to take the man money, you know, and don't bring myself clean and nice that I can go back or forget the money from him or from somebody else. I have to put myself in order, you understand? Yes. So I'm going to get the money and spend it out and I say, all right, I can buy myself a good suit of clothes to put. No, no, I don't do that. I shop for both wise, for food, clothes, everything. Yeah, for pay my bills, so. Mm. Yes. Yeah. You, you told me earlier that you're embarrassed uh, to come into the streets at daytime. Yes, I'm not going to do that. And do people in your community know that you you do this? Type yes, sometimes I curse them and tell them. Sometimes, especially my neighbor, because when I wash my clothes and put them on the line, the scent where the people in my scent from them yard, I'm going to God tell you what kind of odor is those coming from them yard. With the pan my body and pan the little clothes that me I wash. I live a teach real ill at King Street. I live beside one shiny man and one big, one big ex, what do I say now, return resident woman, an English woman. She have her two sons in, in England. My, my neighbor, they live with me inside my house, tell me that. The, the guy sell um sell drugs i don't know i can i don't should even say that but i don't know so these people don't want me down which part we live because they know because i tell them and they see the clothes that i put on the line i know how um, most of these me put on the line we wear a lot of jeans so they discriminate against you yes so they don't want me in my, my area so they try to lift my body and i don't like it and you know me glad you stopped me too that's everybody can see this because me, this girl here, have a warm time living in King Street in Tichwil Hill. You think I do what I tell to go to the station? What they I do to me? Only God can tell her what they I do to me. And they keep, every time they, when they do that, they just keep saying it's a lie. It's not true. It's not true. Sometimes I think some more on the IRFM. 
But when I go to IRFM, by the time I stop at IRFM and say more and say them, I say I have to make appointment and all those things. So I just take it out of my head. Yes, because I don't want to go over here with this because I can't stand it no more, you know. Yeah, man, the only thing left for me to do is walk naked now. Because sometimes I can't stand, stand the smell of my own clothes. Mm -hmm. And I joke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I, the, the, the things that I do in my house make me draw so much attention for me on the street. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do no more. Yeah. Just a while ago, I done this up. And one man in one, in one blue car. I do, do business, I just go around the corner and have sex. Mm -hmm. The man come there, and the man I litter my entire body. Around there with the car, and I come out and then I have sex. I come out and I say he's a wicked man because he actually spoil up my vagina now and the money. He's a cruel man. I'm a walk from down to my dear cell and go up at the top part. And you know, say by the time you catch your next man and go down back to my mirror, a man drive, go stand up, sit down, go, go, go parking car, which by me, they stand up, a hustle. A man let the whole of the summer have to move from there. So I end up to the bridge. Yes. Yeah, so I just tell him off and just say, you know. What are your thoughts about COVID-19? Yeah. What are your thoughts about COVID? Okay, my thoughts now. I wish everybody come together because you see this thing here on my hand. It's the same problem they used to say, you know. What kind of animal they, they, this thing, the they vaccination come from? When me, when me just get this vaccination, you know, say I'm run from school and then tie me up, can go back to school to get the vaccination here. Yeah? That's when you were a child? Yes, mm -hmm. and I didn't die. Mm -hmm. So, I see a man right now, a poor Antonio, he's 76 years old, and he's waiting on his second injection. Man, you know, take the injection and make it country fly up. So, you already took take, it? Yes, I do. I took one already, and oh. I'm waiting for the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I don't see any problem. You know, I get no cow picnic, you know, I get no half fish head. You know, I get none of them foolishness that Jamaican. You know, you know, come together and take it. That's when we end up in a starvation or yes, we end up sick and dead out. Because they might have you lock up in a house and that no help because the sickness stay in there with you. Know. You understand? And the found the youths. Maybe they're going to do because you know, they're still going to eat, eat, eat and I smoke the ganja and all them things there. And you know, you see the money sanitize on yourself. Cause you see ganja draw everything. You understand me? And so one time when you not touch your money, you know, sanitize on yourself too. Cause you know, use you know, the money same and and try to mash up next people. Cause you know yeah, not think you know. Because COVID is spread. Yes, yeah, no so not think. And sometimes every day me accustom them say them body would a stink because the ganja and the money. So they eat, they drink, they no sanitize nothing. You uh, think if me to shut your way to be going to the hotel? Yes. Sir. That the money there? They go wash with all sort of sin thing. Mm -hmm. Type in a bag. When me reach over the money wet. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> me afraid. Yes. And uh, you know, we're under lockdown now. Yeah. Yes. And it's affecting your business. Of course. But what we must but, do. But um, do you agree that a lockdown, for example, is necessary? Although it's affecting yes, you. Yes. It, it, it's, it's it is. It is. It is. Because... With so much people, and this is our money something here. Come on, it is. When I may talk to me, I feel like money just are going in my mouth. Excuse me, please. I have to spit at those swallow. And me too, me take off the mask. <laughs> yes, Ladies and gentlemen, follow. thanks very much for joining us. Please share I the have line. Everything inside here for yes. sanitize my mouth. So you walk with you walk with your hand sanitizer. Everything and, and inside all. the thing there. In the bag right here? Right there. See the bag here? This is my fashion bag. <laughs> That's your fashion bag? Yes, yeah. with everything fashion in there bag. for sanitize. Don't mm -hmm. feed him out everything too. Yes. Yes. And so how, 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 how will you reach Portland? I mean, it's important for you to obey the government's um, curfew hours. Of course, of course. But I'm broke. Yeah. I have nobody to take care of me. I don't have an income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sit down over yard, me I lose weight. Mm -hmm. And when they see me losing weight like this, they're going to say I'm smoking cocaine. Mm -hmm. I'm not smoking cocaine right now. I'm losing weight because I don't have no food I eat because I don't have no money. Mm -hmm. And the one that could pick me where they send me something come to Jamaica, come give me my own family, them, turn my kid away from me. Like telling my daughter that I'm here smoking crack. I don't live no good life. So my daughter is like she locked me away. So I can't get nothing right now. The last time I asked her something, when I talk to her and 
she couldn't understand me. You understand me? Because she lived in Munich and she moved from Munich, go to, to um, we don't call it Dusudaf. And they speak Brirish, Deutsch. And I can't speak Brirish, Deutsch. So she don't understand me good. Mm -hmm. My daughter lived from a food fry. She was three years old. My daughter was 25 years old now. Mm -hmm. And it's a long time I don't talk to her. And do you have all the children? Yeah, Shandana. Shandana and Shante. You have all the she's children? She's in Kingston. She's in Kingston going to school right now with her daddy. Yes. Yeah. Papa, I have to help myself during the curfew. So right now, I break all the curfew law. I'm up on the street side right now. Okay. Forgive me, uh, but I can't do no better here. Tell it okay, we're not, we're, not, we're not encouraging people to do that. No, right now, we're I tell the policeman a while ago, say, better I lock me up too, you know. But you're going to have to pay a lot me. of money. He better I lock me up and feed me. Then where am I going to get the money from? Where am I going to get it from? I can't find if I feed myself. I'm going to come out and sell myself because I'm going to have a work. So I have to come out and come, come look it. But there are hardly come, anybody in the streets, no? Lie you tell, one and two men hide and come, come do like a thing. When you see by the time I get the money, a man who see me with the money, the amount of sin to me, flavor of thing, but if you do like a money, I feel uncomfortable for me and the food. The pickings are slim money. now. Huh? You're saying the pickings are slim? Yes, yes, because you see, them, them have a covetous thoughts and a covetous thing. Yeah, they see me have money and they want money too. You know how much time they take away my handbag down here, push gun and my head and take your handbag. And I give me, by the time I reach the police station, they can't find them. Then go and walk and search every garbage bag, and just to the bag bag. And I can't find the bag now, nothing. Yeah. A lot. A lot of things. Right now, if I have, I have a lot of stories, I don't know how to start. Maybe you can write a book out of me. Mm. Yes, because I got through bad life and I got through good life. I used to sell clothes in Port Antonio. When I go to the clothes, they say, I thief, me thief them. They call me criminal, I don't know why them people don't call me, not got hurt. Alright, so Just take, 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 of us, the take us back to the start. You as a child, what was life like? Who did you grow up with? I grew up with my mom, you know. I grew up in a good yard, you know, good house. Because when me leave my yard, we leave my yard like 17 plus, you know. Mm -hmm. I last beat me, I get me come take in the morning, I get the pot towel, the, the, the pot cover in me, the, the kitchen cloth, push. I couldn't take in a woman, 17 year old, I still got a church and we are ill boat. He never so pretty. So I run from my yard. When I run, they still I send police to me. He couldn't stand it. You were 17 at the time? 17. I still I get beaten. Yeah. I couldn't stand it. So I go up on my own. Me, me, you know how I get up on my own too? Then two years here. I pierced them. And my mother threw me out the two black scandal bag. I never forget it. And I go Port Antonio. I, and, and I, I catch a white man, an Italian man, and I bring him down. My daddy threw a big stone on him and run him and say, My father, he not giving no way to no white man. And your man go left me. And I meet the next man. And I left him. And I meet my husband. Mm. And my mother, my mother care we got church to marry him. My daddy never wouldn't give me away. Mm. And my mother care we got church and get me married. Based on what you have experienced, do you regret running away from home? When you were a child, a child. sometimes, sometimes, come and miss my mother. My mother was my friend. Could I sit and talk about anything? Maybe. And a lot of children are in your position today. They are running away from home. That's some going stupid. missing. What What advice would you give to them? I would tell them to stay home and take good advice and listen to their mom. Cause see, right now, if I was following my mom right now, mother, right now, me need medication. Me need to even sit down and communicate with people. My mother teach me a lot of things. You need to do a lot of housework. You need to know you, the housework in your yard. You can't sit up, you can't cook for your money. You get up, you go to a restaurant go and do them things. You have enough to wash. You have a machine you want. Sometimes you don't, you don't want to put your socks or you don't want to put your shirt or them things in, in a machine. Then the life is not good. Sometimes you meet a good man and you see the lifestyle the way you live. You don't want to. Because you can't do nothing. So the best advice I would have give them, stay home, listen. <laughs> I would love to see my mom right now. She did there like maybe mother have something for myself right now. Cause she don't encourage me. Me miss her sometimes, sometimes I ball. You know when me miss her? Sunday. Mm -hmm. three, three different type of food for the panic here by the time I miss her. Yeah, on Christmas. Where's miss her? Her. Hmm. Yeah, she did. So girls and boys, take it here. 
You see everything we are running out of the road? It's all there. Bellas used to wear, you know. My mother used to wear Bellas and I come and wear it. Everything we see are running out of the road, we did it. Just do everything we know for doing at the house. Your age, you have come too, too young on the street. By the time you catch 23, you have 4 or 5 picnic. That don't work it, baby. Or right, sir, please stay home and listen to your mom. Learn things in the house. That means you don't have to depend upon a woman or you don't have to depend upon a man. You can do something. Yeah, that is what I have to tell you guys. You okay. spoke about your husband. You are coming off as a person. You are an independent woman. I'm Although you really, have to do this. Not really. But you have an independent man. You don't want to depend on men. I don't want men. to depend on nobody and I don't want to pressure no one. Because me have feelings. So I mean, I go see my husband have two work. And he don't want me work and he don't want work. He two work and he come in and tired and keep helping himself if he put him foot in a throat and rub him foot them for him or massage him or cook. Sometimes I sorry for him a ball. Me can't take him no more. That's why I left Germany and come back to Jamaica so far. And sometimes he hate me feet too. But what I do? He tell me I left him because a Jamaican man. Why not because a Jamaican man? I pressure him too much. I don't mean, need that. I don't know one time I want him to work with me in the bed and can't do nothing. By the time he comes to me, fall asleep and drop asleep because he's tired. No. Right now, I know my husband don't go back with the next woman, you know. My husband tell me that he have a dolly in the house. He paid right, we don't want to hear too much about, about, the, the, about your husband's life. Because no, we, but that's true. He hate me for that. We, we can't I verify him. that. <laughs> I right? do, I do, I do. Yeah, you, but we can't verify that. So let's not go into your right. husband's okay, bedroom. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Right? I have a husband in bed with my own. I feel me too. Well, it seems like it's yours no more. No, because <laughs> I left it. Yeah, so you, you, would you go back to it? Sometimes I think of it. Sometimes I think no, because I didn't fight too much too. Because sometimes I want to go out and I don't want to go out. Sometimes I meet Jamaican girls and I want to go party. My mm -hmm. housewife, if you turn the house, you pick me. And plus, she mix, she play music. Yes. To make money, so we just can't come out. We just have to stay with my kid. Yes. All right, people. Thanks very, very much for joining us. Thanks very much. Please share the live. The next question I have for you right now: What's your biggest dream? What do you want the most out of life? Stop sell pussy and try to earn my own income. Do something in life where I can help myself. I would love to come off the street. Yes. I wish I could find a man on, on the phone there. Can you find a man for me? I'm asking you people. Find me somebody who can help me. I will help him. I will dare for him. I take care of him. But somebody, I don't want a man who come beat me. I come with another house. I don't like that. I'm a April woman. Yes. Arden, thanks very, very much. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I'm getting some WhatsApp messages. So mm -hmm. I'll go and see what's there. Okay. And we'll keep in touch. All right. All right. Thanks very, very much. All the best to you. Okay. And thank you. Uh, I'm thank sure you for someone this will soon. reach out. All right. All right. Thanks much.